this car ran Le Mans in 1958. It ran again in 1959. And the owner is saying now it's as it was then, original body, original frame, original engine. Hmm, how can that possibly be? story, the crazy genesis of this whole transaction and how we found this car starts off with this picture. And at a Christmas party, uh, a luncheon at the Bluebird restaurant in Kings Road in Chelsea in London, I get handed this wonderful little picture from my friend Andrew Hall. And after Andrew has chugged a couple of beers, he sort of says, you do anything with this? Because I know you like these, I don't know, some derogatory word he must have used, these Volkswagen-powered things, because that's not his purview. He's a big, fancy, pre-war guy. So he hands this to me, like, here, maybe you can do something with this. I don't know what it is. So I look at it and think, i got to show this to Cam, who's on the other side of the room. Um, Cam, what do you think of this? And he looks at it with the same sort of cross-eyed skepticism and says, I don't know, maybe we can do something with it. Where is it? What is it? Um, Andrew then says the car is in Germany, and aren't you guys going to Germany? Well, we are going to Germany, stupid, but Germany's a big place. Where is the car? Well, I'll find out. Okay, great. So you're showing me a picture of something that you don't know where it is, you don't know how much it is, and you don't know the chassis number. Okay, we'll stay with this. For, we'll, we'll play along. So the following day, we head to Germany to fly to Hanover to look at a 959S. Come to find out, the 550A is in Dusseldorf, which is right down the road from Hanover. It's not in Stuttgart, it's not in Munich, it's not in Berlin, it's down the road. Okay, fine, let's go make plans to see it. We do the winter market thing that night, have some really terrible German wine, uh, walk around, take in all the sights, have some chestnuts, and in between having the wine and the chestnuts and then getting back to the hotel, the chassis number comes in a text. Oh great, it's chassis 0142. Well, that doesn't mean anything yet. It did about an hour later after Cam does his Google search and Google search and Google search, we come to find out this car ran Le Mans in 1958. It ran again in 1959. And the owner is saying now it's as it was then, original body, original frame, original engine. Hmm, how can that possibly be? We're still waiting for the shoe to drop for the car to be you know, $15 million and or not what it's supposed to be. Somebody's going to misrepresent something here. So we go to bed with the excitement that this could possibly be a really cool car. Get up the following morning, have some coffee, make our way to this wonderful suburb outside of Dusseldorf, and here's this garage, and the door opens, and there's this car. And from 10 feet, you could see that's a very original thing. So to inspect it, we had to climb up a security gate behind the lift, get up on this lift, the car was sort of up against the ceiling, and we're kind of hunched down looking over it, and every panel we opened, everything we touched, every little thing we inspected, it got better and better and better, and we thought, how could this possibly be? I mean, this car has been off the grid, it's been off the radar. Um, being hidden is not the right word, but it's just not, in pl it's, it's sort of hidden in plain sight. Somebody had to know where this was, but nobody was talking about it. So, lo and behold, we got to figure out, we got to bring this car back to the United States. So in theory, we do a handshake at the moment and go, we'll have the car. Now the next thing is, okay, who can we offer this car to? So a uh, handful of folks called this person, called that person, called this person, called that person, um, getting pretty good feedback. And a, I wouldn't say a wild card customer, but somebody that we did not expect uh, to have interest immediately in the car is now the proud owner of it. He realized this is really something special. And in, without being overly dramatic and using, again, the Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, you know, sort of great tomb find, I haven't found anything like this in 10 or 15 or 20 years. And it is, it is a find of the decade. And when it comes out and the rest of the world gets to see it, 
everybody will appreciate this thing that, you know, right around the time Ford versus Ferrari comes out and this whole period is being talked about in the late 50s going into the 60s, well, here's a car that ran Le Mans twice. What's better than that? Thank <laughs> you.